In the 90s, I believe that these men around Hef saw a very big opportunity. For many years, Hef had different men who were out there recruiting. They would put ads out in the different newspapers. You want to be a playmate, you want to be a model. And when you moved into the 90s, the scouts would be circulating throughout the nightclubs in Los Angeles, because all the young girls that would come from out of town would obviously show up at the nightclubs. And they would number the level of girl that they would meet. If they were super hot and, you know, great physique, and they were like a 10, then they would be brought to the mansion and brought to a party and given maybe an opportunity to pose in Playboy. And then you have nine that was maybe given, you know, a lesser opportunity, but still would be introduced to people that could possibly bring her career to the next level. And then you have the girls that are like, you know, the sevens and the eights. These girls didn't make the cut for Playboy, but you don't want to just throw away nice girls. They're still pretty. You know, what, what can we do with them? These scouts would invite these girls to these mini mansions for these modeling agency parties and offer them a place to live and offer them modeling contracts. The young girls believe an opportunity to really move your dreams forward, when in fact, it was really just all a facade. Very quickly, they're crossing boundaries that they never thought that they would cross. Once you're on this path, it's very hard to find your way out. Secrets of Playboy. New episodes Mondays at 9, only on A&E.